Uh -oh. oh, I started it. All right, let's go. I started it, so let's go. Um, so parent functions, huge subject. Um, you will be seeing this basically throughout algebra one, algebra two, pre-cal, calculus. I mean, it's just, it just goes on and on and on, right? So we have to know uh, how to manipulate your parent functions, but you can't manipulate them if you don't know what they are, right? So I'm gonna take it, take you through. So what is a constant function? And a constant function, right, is a function where you have like f of x equals three, or f of x equals two, or f of x equals negative 10. Okay, it's a number, it's a constant. But remember, there's still an x value there. And that's the one key you have to remember with these parent functions and in calculus later on is the most important thing you can remember is this. X to the zero equals anyone. Close, but no. It's not zero. A lot of people think zero. Anything raised to the zero power, what does the zero power do? It brings us down to one. Okay? Because there's always a hidden one out in front of this. Okay? So remember how we talked about that there was no such thing as a negative number? <clears throat> that all we had was negative one times the constant? The constant of two or the constant of this and then that that created the whole integer race right all of the integers are created by but this is a oh, oh thank you yeah so all the integers are created by oh shoot so there's a hidden one there kind of works right and all the all the integers are created by that negative one right so there's just this hidden number out in front that we never really see until um, we take away the x, okay? And whatever that number is, it's going to look like this. Remember the face when we were doing the slopes, right? Everybody remember the face? Oops, that's a big long eye. There we go. You guys remember this guy? Right? Mr. Slopes, right? So, uh, you need to remember that this constant, okay, is that zero slope. It's when y equals mx plus b, and the m is zero, and there is no x, and all there is is b, so y equals b, that is a constant. So it's always going to look like the line, the, the, the mouth, right? Hey, all right, now, so then we got the linear function, okay? The linear function looks like this, okay? And that's the parent function, remember, this is when the slope is one, right? When y equals 1x plus b, right? But the b in this case is 0, okay? So in this case, your b is 0, right? And it goes to y equals x, and that is your linear function. It's linear because of this. It's to the first power. It's constant because of this. It's to the zero power, okay? Those are huge, okay? So then we start to go, okay, what happens when it's to the second power, right? And we can start naming these polynomials. And the name of this polynomial, right, that is to the second power is called a quadratic, okay? So quadratics, we're gonna use a lot later on this year. And you will be working with quadratics a lot in the following years, all right? So it's super important. And what a quadratic looks like is like this. But more importantly, when I teach this to students, 
What, I, what they don't realize is that at one and one, we have a point. But what happens at two? At two, what's two squared? Everybody knows two squared, right? Two times two? Four, four right? So it goes up to four. One, two, three, four. And so it's way up here, and that's what's happening, okay? So if we take a look at that, we got one and one, we got two and four, and this quadratic's going like this, right through those points. Well, the same thing is happening on the other side. It's called a mirror image, right? And the mirror of that quadratic is going from one, right, to one, and from two to four, right? And it mirrors it, okay? A mirror means symmetric, okay? It's symmetric. The same on both sides, okay? And the axis of symmetry is actually where the y, the y axis is, okay? But all you guys need to really understand is that it's called the quadratic, okay? And later on, we're gonna really dive into this equation. So these points, super important. Because when we start moving this quadratic around, it always has that slope unless it's stretched or compressed, which you'll learn about next year, okay? Well, actually, you'll learn about in two years when you get to Algebra 2, okay? So, and that's why you have to hold on to these notes, because you won't see any of this in geometry, right? None of this in geometry. But you will see it again a year later in Algebra 2 and again in Pre-Cal and moreover in Calculus. Alright? Now, what does a cubic look like? Okay? So you take this quadratic, right? And it's kind of cool because the cubic, you take this quadratic and this is how the cubic is. Boom. Okay? So what happens is Instead of the negatives becoming positive, right? Because negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, right? Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, right? But when you start using negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, becomes a negative 8, right? And so all of a sudden, it switches it. So it goes up positive but down negative, okay? So it looks like this. And more specifically, they both hit at what's one cubed? One, right? But what's two cubed? Two times two times two. Two times two is four, times two is? Not six. Eight. Eight. All right, so we're going up eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up here. So it, it looks like this. Very steep, right? But the opposite goes on this side, right? Because if you have three negatives, it makes a negative. If there were four negatives, it'd be positive, right? Two negatives, it's positive. But three negatives, it's negative. One negative is negative. All right, so at negative 1, we're at negative 1, right? But at negative 2, we're at negative 8, okay? And that's all that's going on here. 1, or 2, sorry. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what's going on here is that this, this cubic, right? That cubic... It's coming down to negative 8, going up to 8. This is 1 and 1. Okay? So, but what you need to realize is if it looks like this, right? If it looks like that sideways backwards x, right? Or part that right side to the x, okay? Then that is a cubic function. Does that make sense? 
okay? And then we're going to talk about square roots. What happens with square roots? And what's the square root of one? Still one, right? Okay, so that's what's happening here. At one, we're at one. Okay? Now, what's the square root of four? It'd be how much? 16. No, square root. So what times what is four? Two, four two. two times two, good. Two times two is four, right? So the square root of four is two. So when we get to four, it's only at two. You see what I'm saying? So it looks like this, this function looks like this. I never really taught it this way to my algebra two students. And so I probably should have. I think it's a little bit better way of teaching it. Okay? It's amazing what that machine does to my brain. It makes me feel back like I was almost 30 something. Woo! Feeling young. Okay? Now, they all are different, right? So if I gave you a problem like this, and I said it looks like this, you could tell me, hey, that's a quadratic. If I gave you a problem like this, and I went like this, you could tell me it's a <clears throat> cubic, right? Looks like a cubic function, right? Yeah. And so which function does this look like? Uh, quadratic. quadratic, right? What does this look like? That's right. Constant. See what I mean? So now we know our parent functions, so it doesn't matter where they are on the map. We can always name them. Does that make sense? Yes. But we need more than that. Okay? Because, where's my sock? All right. What if they don't give us a picture? What if they do this? What's that? <coughs> Are there any X's? No. No. no, there's none over here though. So what does it mean? Which one has no X's? Zero X's in other words. Constant. Yeah. So if I did this, Then what is that one? What's your highest power there? Three. Three. Cubic. Good job. Right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start naming these polynomials. Right? Is it a cubic? Is it a constant? Well, let's talk about that. So, there's a couple others we want to name. This one, x to the fourth, it's called a quartic, okay? This one, x to the fifth, it's called a quintic, all right? Now, so now you have all your parent functions. Now we're going to talk about, well, what kind of polynomial is it? Is it monomial, binomial, trinomial, right? So let's talk about that. Does it have one piece? Does it have two pieces? Or does it have three pieces? Now, anything is called a, what we call a polynomial, right? Anything is called a polynomial, but only a few things are called Mono, bi, and tri, okay? Now anything above a trinomial, you're just gonna call it a polynomial. So anything that has four pieces or more, you're gonna call a polynomial. So a polynomial, polynomial is four or more, let's say four or 
more pieces. All right? What do I mean by pieces? Well, let's talk about a trino meal first. I usually start at a mono meal. I'm like, kids start to get it when I say a trino meal. So let's start with a trino meal. Here's a very typical trino meal for you, okay? You ready? Let's go 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay? How many pieces do you see? Okay? One, two, three. So you have three pieces. I can do that too. All right. Don't get on me. I'm trying to teach over here. All right. So we got three pieces. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Everyone see that? All right. So if we have two pieces, what do you think it would look like? Now, we know that's a trinomial, but what type? Uh, What's the highest two. degree? Two. What is that degree? Quadratic. Quadratic. Boom. So what do we call that? Quadratic. Trinomial. Trinomial. That's it. Okay? That's naming polynomials. So in a binomial, it's going to have two pieces. So I'm going to give you a hard one here. Okay? All right, here we go. 4x to the fifth, right? Minus 3. What is that? So we're going to say that it's e f of x equals this, because that is usually what happens, or y equals, okay? <clears throat> so we know it's two pieces, right? So then what? Is this still quadratic? Is it quadratic? No. What's the highest power? Five. Oh, Five. Oh, it's a polynomial. So which, no, no, it is a polynomial, but it is a binomial because it's two pieces, but which one has a five? Quintic, yeah. Okay? So this is called a quintic. One minute. Thank you. Quintic what? Oh, shoot. There we go. Binomial. Quintic. Binomial. Binomial. Uh, Alright, what's the monomial? Ready? Here we go. F of X <laughs> equals. Uh, the square root of 5x. Okay? So what kind of uh, polynomial is that? Uh, square, root. square root. So that's a square 